Hey guys, 95 Pop Snaps here, and today we have a mail call video for one of my favourite places to buy sodas, this Jane and Minnie's Let's Do This. Alrighty guys, so this parcel right here comes all the way from the US, Jane and Minnie's, they specialise in Funko sodas, Mystery Minis, and kind of all the niche stuff that isn't Pops in the Funko world. Uh, so super, super, super keen to unbox this stuff because harder exclusives to find here and stuff that never got released here in Australia as well, uh, which is another reason why I love buying from these guys. So let's get into this box and uh, see what I've picked up. So I've cracked open the box and you can see everything's packed really well. I'm really excited what's in this box, so let's get that one out first. So first up, we have a Ninja Turtles t-shirt. So this was actually really, really reasonably priced on the website. And I love the turtle, so I figured, not, why not get it? I love the box of it too, it's the turtle van. It looks really cool. So you've got Donnie at the wheel with Michelangelo there. Leo's on that side and Raph is on this side. So that is really sick. Let's open this up because I'm definitely going to want to wear this t-shirt. This box is so, so cool. It's a nice display piece, that's for sure. So I will be keeping this. But uh, let's pull the t-shirt out and have a look what it looks like because I haven't seen it. I just kind of thought... Funko Pop T-shirt, Ninja Turtles, I'm getting it. Oh, so this is really nice. So at the front, it's just a simple logo of the Ninja Turtles there. And then on the back, you've got Turtle Power with the four turtles and the van. That's really cool. I'm a big fan of this shirt. Super stoked that I picked that up. So really, really nice. You guys will probably see me wearing it in a video soon. All right. And then we have one, two, three, four, five sodas. I went a bit all out in this video. Okay. We're starting off with this one here. I believe these were all commons, no chases. I'm not sure if any were sealed, but most of them, I'm pretty sure all of them you couldn't get here in Australia. So I did pick up the lemon head common. The chase is really cool. I have seen it, uh, but don't really need it. Happy to have at least just the common. So this is sick. <laughs> he looks so good. There is lemon head from the ad icon line. Very, very cool. I do love the Lemonhead lollies. I have tried them before. Uh, he's one of 5,800 worldwide. Um, so there's no international count for this one since they were only released in the US, I believe. So that's pretty cool. I'm really, really happy to have that one. It was a really, really cheap price. And like I said, they didn't get released here. So I'm happy to have at least the common. This next one here, I don't know why, but it hasn't released in Australia yet. I assume we're going to get it, but for whatever reason we haven't. So I figured I may as well pick it up. It worked out to be the exact price that Pop Culture are probably going to sell it for, but for some reason they haven't released it here. So I thought I'll bite the bullet and I'll just get it from here because why not? So 10,000 pieces. Um, this is the US edition. I don't know if there's going to be uh, like an international one. But I said stuff it like, like I said, same price. At least I'm going to secure it. There's no chases for this run. It was just the invisible one. Um, so, yeah, I figured why not? Let's pick it up. It's going to be the exact same figure anyway. So it's the invisible Frodo. And this thing is so strange. You can barely tell that it's him um, unless you're really looking close. I don't think the camera is going to pick it up too much. Um, but yeah, it is the Invisible Frodo, uh, one of 10,000 pieces as mentioned, so no trace count, as I said, it's just uh, an exclusive really, so that's cool, I definitely wanted to get it because Jen loves Lord of the Rings, so it's going to be a part of her soda collection, and um, pretty much played it safe, because if Pop Culture don't get it, then I'll regret not have buying it from this place. But anyway, the next one I got is a 2020 Wondrous Con convention, I believe this didn't have a chase either. But it is the Fruit Brute. So this was a really cool one. 5,000 pieces in the ad icon line. It's an ad icon that I quite like a bit. So I figured I would pick it up. Really fair price again. This is weird. There's something at the bottom of this can. Oh, cool. It came through a Pog stand. A Pog protector thing. That's sweet. Oh, nice. I don't know if that was meant to be in there. But that's really cool. So we've got the Fruit Brute disc or Pog. Um, in a case, so that's 4,200, and it's got a little stand with it too. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, so the pog is there in that case, and uh, let's have a look at the figure. Very, very cute. I do like this one. He's holding the spoon, and yeah, according to this, oh no, so there was a chase. So there would be an 800 piece chase. So this is just a common. I think I paid under retail as to what this would cost sealed in Australia if they sold here. So I thought that was a pretty good deal to get it. Uh, it's really, really cool. I do like this one a lot. And I do like having at least one of the major ad icons, I guess, in my collection. 
So that's cool. He's significantly tall too. I really, really like that one. So that is awesome. I'm stoked about that. Thank you, Jane and Minis, for having that on the website. I have two more super, super awesome sodas to come, uh, but I feel like it is a good time to show you guys the business card. So Jane and Minis, they're on Facebook, obviously the website's there, and Instagram as well. And I've got a little thank you on the back, so that's really kind. So thank you so much, guys. Absolutely buzzing about this mail call, if you can't tell. I'm going to end on my favourite one, but this one could easily be the favourite too. So let's get into it, show you guys what I got. This one is just the common as well, but it was not released here in Australia. I am very, very excited. It is none other than the Vampire Freddy. So this will be the common. It's 12,500 pieces overall. Funko Shop exclusive. The Freddies never get released here. And I don't know why, but um, there is the Pog of the Vampire Freddy. And a very fitting time to open this one up with Halloween coming up. So 10,500 pieces. That means there's 2,000 chases out there, which isn't too bad. That's a pretty decent count. But let's have a look at this guy. Oh, that is adorable. Check him out, guys. Vampire Freddy. <laughs> this is so cool. He's got His fingers are so well done. They're all creepy looking. He's got a red crown. Kind of really going with that vampire vibe. He's got a little bow tie and a cape. The cape's really cool too. Very bat-like. I really, really like this one. That's awesome. I've seen some great photos of that soda but um yeah never gotten to see it in person and um the chase is really really cool too so that's really cool i'm very very happy with that any freddy added to my collection is just awesome but guys you know me i love funko and i love when funko do so super fun collabs and and this is one of my favorite collaborations because i love sport um so it was amazing to see funko release a webley soda this is awesome so it's the limited edition to the funko field super super cool i wish i could have had a chance to get sealed ones for a chase but they were just going for a ridiculous amount of money on ebay so i settled for a common at a really really good price from jane and minis four thousand pieces overall so still the common is a very limited piece count and same deal with this one was not released in australia so it's four thousand only which is really really nice but anyway the chase would have been very, very low because the common count is one of 3,350. <laughs> and there's Webley on the other side. I love this. Oh, this is so great. I am absolutely buzzing. I love Webley. He's adorable. And he just looks so good in soda form. Look at that. He's got the baseball coming out of his tongue. He has the baseball bat, his webbed feet, the cap with the Everett's logo. And on the back, you can see Webley H2O. Is the number on his Guernsey. Oh, he's got the mitt as well in the backhand. The details, guys. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. I wish I could have had a chance to get the chase. Uh, but I'll settle for this because this is awesome. Thank you so much to Jane and Minis. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I, Webley is my favourite. He's got to be my favourite from this haul. Just because he, that, that detail is crazy on that soda. That is amazing. But guys, let me know which one of these is your favourite. I feel like a lot of people are going to say Vampire Freddy, which is completely fair. But uh, for me, it's always going to be Webley. I love Webley. So yeah, guys, be sure to go and give Jane and Minnie some love if you're in Australia. It's worth taking a look. The shipping can hurt, but he always has good deals going on. And there's so much variety of Funko items on the website. It's so, so good. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it purely because I've gotten some amazing stuff into the collection today. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. It really helps the channel a lot. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed because there's going to be more Funko Soda and Funko Pop videos to come. But I really, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It really means the world. And remember, guys, as the Wise Like Dragon says, never give up. And good pops and sodas will find you. So